Attalus I was one of the great monarchs of the Hellenistic period. He may not have ruled over an empire as vast as that of Alexander, or as wealthy as that of the Ptolemies, but he left an indelible mark upon the Hellenistic world, and helped pave the way for the future Roman conquest of the region. Attalus was born in the early 260s BC, and was adopted by his cousin Eumenes I. When Eumenes died in 241 BC, Attalus ascended to power in Pergamon, and quickly went to war with and defeated the warlike Galatian people of central Anatolia, who had traditionally exacted tribute from the Greek settlements of the region. In the aftermath of his victory, he claimed the titles of king and saviour, a direct challenge to the rule of the then Seleucid monarch Seleucus II in Anatolia. Now Attalus sought to expand the territorial holdings of Pergamon, engaging in a series of wars with the Seleucids for control of Anatolia in the last decades of the 3rd century BC. However, a new Seleucid monarch, Antiochus III, would undo the gains made by Attalus in these wars, and his kingdom was reduced once more to its traditional boundaries by 213 BC. This was not the end for Attalus's ambitions of conquest. He aligned himself with the Aetolian League of Greece against another expansionist Hellenist king, Philip V of Macedon, and it was via his interference in Greece that he came into contact with the rising Roman Republic in the west. Pergamon aided Rome in her wars against Philip, and upon his death in 197 BC, Attalus was regarded as a firm friend of the Republic. His successors would continue this alliance right up until the death of Attalus's grandson and namesake, Attalus III, who ceded Pergamon to Rome in his will. Attalus I proved himself one of the shrewdest dynasts of the Hellenistic period, firmly establishing his kingdom's independence despite its small size and the powerful kingdoms ranged against it. In doing so, he created an avenue for the Roman Republic to exploit during its gradual conquest of the Greek East in the century that followed his death. <laughs>